Good afternoon, YouTube. Another quick how-to video. Um, if you've, you've ever had a chainsaw and it's not adjustable to carb, they usually have uh, carb limiters or carb stops. And there's, uh, I'm sure, many reasons for that. Some people say it's so that um, we as homeowners or end users don't ruin the chainsaw because we can't adjust it. But chainsaws, there are so many variables that go into chainsaws. Elevation, temperature, humidity, gas type, um, oil type, oil mixture. So truly, anybody that owns a chainsaw owes it to themselves to understand how to adjust a carb. Now, I'm not going to do a video on how to adjust a carb, but I'm going to do a video on how to remove the carb limiters. So if we come in close here, what we have here is a carb, a Wolboro, 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 Wolboro carb from a steel 880. I've already pulled off one of the carb limiters, just a little piece of plastic right here. That went inside there, and what it does is it has a little notch on it that stops you from going one way or the other. You should be able to t turn it multiple times one way or the other, all the way in, all the way out, and um, they adjust the amount of air mixture, oil, fuel mixture, and everything on the inside. It's pretty technical. I don't understand it, but there's a high and there's a low. So, how do you get these out? Well. You just get a simple drywall screw, just some type of screw that has some, some good teeth on it. Then what you do is you'll just want to screw it in the plastic here. Now I just kind of screwed in a little bit and as you go in, you'll notice that it'll start coming out. It has a good grip. Now you just want to use that as a fulcrum and pop them out. Now once that's out, what you'll have is you'll have full movement and full play with those limiters in there. You can kind of, you want to go dead end uh, when you go clockwise. Clockwise will tell you how far they're going to go in and how far they're going to come out. And let's just pull one of these out to see what they look like. How's that? Anybody that's played with a carb just has a simple little I guess you can call it a needle and that just goes into the jet and affects how much goes in and how much goes out. You want to start all of your chainsaws. Everyone has a factory setting. I usually go all the way dead end clockwise and then I take it one full turn out. There's a half turn, there's a full turn on both the low and the high. So that's dead end, clockwise, half turn, full turn. Most saws, you can start out like that. You're pretty safe doing a full turn counterclockwise once you dead end at clockwise. And then that kind of gives you, if it's stalling out, idling, again, I didn't want to make this on how to adjust your carburetor, but that's kind of, sometimes they're a turn and a quarter, sometimes they're three quarters turn out. So you're good at doing both the high and the low jet, the H and the L, at one full turn from dead end. So that is a quick tutorial on how to adjust or how to remove your carb limiters on your chainsaws. There's that little limiter stop with my beautiful face in the background. So any questions or comments, go ahead and post them in the bottom. Hope this helped you out. All the way from the Poulans to most all the modern saws have that carb limiter. Some of them are epoxied over so that you can't pull these out. Um, if you're willing to risk it, you can chip off that epoxy. And either way, majority of saws, 90 some odd percent of saws, are going to have those little jet screws in there. Have a wonderful afternoon. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Leave the comments below if I did anything wrong or if I missed anything. I appreciate you watching. Adios.